Uh, good morning, everybody. It's an honor to be here with you today. Uh, my name is Hao Nan Chu, and I am a software engineer at Alibaba Cloud. The topic of my, uh, the topic of my talk is FISC, a large-scale cloud-native oriented file system. So let's go to the background and motivation. In recent years, the cloud native is a popular trend that is happening in the cloud. Big data applications used to run over heavyweight virtual machines and use the library named FileCloud to assess the remote distributed file system. The number of virtual machines running on one computation server is less than a few dozen. <coughs> but in the cloud native era, thousands of applications are running over one uh, are running over lightweight containers at the same server. At the same time, new hardware technologies such as RDMA and NVMe Express have been widely deployed in the backend cloud storage file system. Optimizing the access latency uh, from, of backend storage from about one millisecond to less than 100 microseconds. As a result, we are experiencing a new paradigm of cloud-native file system. But unfortunately, uh, several bottlenecks appear in front of us. The first bottleneck is the heavy clouds. Generally, each file cloud assess remote storage through network and a storage protocol. The right figure shows CPU consumption of them in HDFS clouds and a different throughput, given a typical configuration of two CPU cores for containers, only 45% CPU are available for applications, and 200 megabyte, mega, megabyte per second thread throughput. Over 50 CPU cores are used by storage and network. In addition, each file client in the containers needs to reserve enough CPU, memory, and network bandwidth to guarantee the peak usage. So these resources among containers cannot be multiplexed uh, among multiple file clients, leading to low resource utilization and poor performance. The second bottleneck occurs in network load balance. In consideration of security, applications run in the overlay, which is a virtual and secure environment. The backend storage clusters locate in the underlay, which is a physical environment. And the middle, middle network load balancer is a bridge for connecting them. Requests from the clients in containers need to pass through the network load balancer to finish the mapping from the virtual IP to the physical IP, and then be forwarded to the backend cluster. We call this procedure the pass-through. However, the network load balancer is not suitable for cloud-native applications. The most obvious drawbacks is its poor performance due to TCP-based multi-hops multi network forwarding and lack of support for the high-performance network, such as RDMA. The second drawback is that the duration of load balancers fuel recovery usually takes up about seconds, mismatching the strict SLA uh, of online applications such as online search, which usually requires less than 50 milliseconds. The next shortcoming is load imbalance. Connection-based scheduling cannot Connection-based scheduling on load balancer cannot evenly distribute the files to our backend cloud storage clusters. The last but the least point is the high cost. It means load balancer needs extra hardware, co hardware costs. As a result, load balancer is not suitable for the cloud-native fi cloud file systems. So let's go to the design and impl implementation. To solve these bottlenecks, two design goals are set for FISC. The first goal is reducing and multiplexing resources among lots of file clients. The second goal is building a storage-aware gateway 
to provide good performance and a strict SLA for cloud native, files, cloud native applications. Okay, FISC uses a two layer resource aggregation architecture. Lightweight FISC clients offload functions to FISC agents, which are the first layer, and FISC proxies, which are the second layer. FISC clients use the virtual RPC to communicate with FISC proxies at the backend. Word IO FISC devices are DPU based Word IO devices for delivering requests from clients into in overlay and FISC agents in the underlay. We could design the Word IO FISC devices and FISC agents to provide fast and secure IO processing. FISC agents and FISC process consist of the storage aware distributed gateway to routine requests on files to the corresponding FISC process and persist the data in the backend of the Pangu cluster. And high performance network is deployed among them to reduce network latency. At the storage cluster, FISC process are mixed with Pangu to communicate directly. Usually, there are four, four classes of functions in file clients. That means API, security, storage stack, and a network stack. However, users are only interested in API. Other functions are heavy burdens for users. So to aggregate and reduce the resources of FISC clients, API should be kept in the FISC clients. <coughs> and other functions should be offloaded. To protect the backend cluster against attack, security functions are migrated to the FISC agents, and any wrong requests can be filtered in advance. And naturally, network stack is also migrated to the FISC agents with hardware acceleration. As a result, resources of multiple file clients over different containers but on the same computation server can be aggregated in the local FISC agent. To aggregate resources among different computation servers, the storage stack is migrated to the FISC proxies, which also helps to transform the traffic between FISC agents and FISC proxies into the traffic between FISC proxies and Pangu cluster. Finally, uh, Finally, an extra function called vRPC uh, is added to the file clients, FISC clients, for connecting to the backend FISC proxies. Functions are offloading, uh, are, are offloaded, and a resource aggregation is achieved. vRPC is a simple RPC function. The vRPC clients are held by FISC clients, and the vRPC servers are held by FISC proxies. For file operations, there are hundreds of APIs in FISC clients, but vRPC stop can easily transform the APIs with the file semantics into semantic irrelevant data by plus simple RPC header and serialization. And vRPC services take over the detailed implementation. So FISC clients can focus on the API design, uh, the design of the file APIs and easily to scale out new APIs at client and server. The vRPC requests from FISC clients are delivered to the FISC, Word, FISC, Word IO FISC devices. Word IO FISC device, devices are DPU-based devices providing RPC semantics for containers. The front end is the standard Word IO component while the backend is the FPG of DPU hardware queues are established between the uh, front end and the backend. And the VRPCs from secure overlay can be directly be de delivered into the underlay. Because hardware queues, because hardware queues belonging to different containers are isolated and it, isolated from each other. So a secure environment can be achieved. The other functionality of FISC devices is I.O. acceleration. A fast pass can be implemented by catching the file root table in DPU and letting the FPGAs handle the normal I.O. requests. And the FISC agents running on the CPU of DPU 
handle the slow paths. Finally, FPGAs are FISC agents forward VRPC to FISC proxies. FISC agents and FISC proxies co-work to consist of storage-aware distributed gateway. By remo removing the middle network load balancer, no more extra hops are needed, and a direct highway can be built between agents and proxies, such as Luna, Solar, and RDMA transport. It's worth noting that Storage-aware routing and strategies are implemented in FISC agents. They can choose FISC proxies by file-based root table rather than connection-based root table and do better scheduling. During fee recovery, score-based retry blacklisting reopen mechanisms can be selected and customized based on the file root table. Locality-aware locality -aware file rate can be achieved by extending the file root table into a chunk range table. Locations of proxies and servers in Pangul clusters for file rate are predictable. With located aware rate, internode inter transmission can be replaced by intranode transmission, reducing network bandwidth consumption. To explain file-based root table and locality aware rate, a simple example is shown. In the beginning, the proxy master will collect and push the available proxy list to the FISC agent. When the application calls the open API on the specified file, the FISC agent re re receives the VRPC from FISC clients and chooses the FISC proxy randomly for this file and forwards the VRPC to it. The FISC proxy executes these open requests on the master and returns the response to FISC agent. Then the FISC agent constructs a new root table entry for this file, <laughs> which records the file handle and proxy IP and inserts an entry in the range table. The range table records the file offset and locations of chunk servers in Pangu that stores the data replication. Then the index is returned to the FISC client as a hint. The subsequent read on this file will carry the index hint. The FISC agent queries the file root table with the index hint to get the relevant file handle and the range table. If the target offset hit on the range entry, an available chunk server location is selected, and the request will be forwarded directly to the FISC proxies at the same location. Next, FISC proxies receive the request and directly communicate with the local chunk servers to finish the read procedure without consuming network bandwidth. Uh, this is the whole workflow of locality aware read. Let's go to the evaluation. In the standard uh, FIO microbenchmark test, the lightweight FISC clients consume 60% fewer CPU costs and 25% less memory footprint in write test and 68% fewer CPU costs and 17% less memory footprint in retest. The next is the real result in our production. The number of computation servers in the cluster is about 1,000, and the number of backend storage servers is several thousand and shared by different computation clusters. We sample the network bandwidth, CPU consumption, and memory footprint in FISC clients over a month. The red vertical line is the switching point where traditional file clients are replaced by our new lightweight FISC clients. After switching to FISC clients, the network bandwidth was the same as before, but CPU consumption is reduced about by about 60%, and 57% consumption of memory is saved. This is due to functions of loading and a two-layer resource aggregation. The current slides show the FISC performance and the SLA of online search in production. We sample the average latency and tail latency of FISC clients over one month. The left figure shows that IOPS reaches about 4 million, four millions, but the end-to-end -end latency of FISC clients is stable at about 500 microseconds, far less than the latency through load balancers. Spikes of Spikes of tail latency in the right figure are caused by kind of reasons. 
but the TU latency of physical class is still less than 60 milliseconds, while the field recovery of network load balancer usually takes about several seconds. So what's more in FISC? Firstly, it does not just migrate resource from the client to the backend, but also aggregate resources and improve resource utilization. And more hardware of loading can be leveraged. Secondly, FISC also support open source ecosystem, uh, ecosystem service, such as HDFS. It supports HDFS API seamlessly by using GNI to transfer the Java API to C++ function call. And we are preparing to commit FISC to open, community, open source community and develop it into a standard device in kernel. More details can be found in our paper. So in summary, uh, in Alibaba, FISC has been deployed in pr productions for th over three years and it runs over three million cars. Diverse applications are migrating to FISC to enjoy better cloud native file system service. So thank you for listening. My talk is finished and looking forward to your questions.